This week, I was determined to get out on a river. Now on Thursday, two of my friends fished the Tweed. By Friday, three and a half foot higher. So a total washout. So thankfully, Corwin and District Angling Club came to the rescue. So today, we're gonna have a friendly competition between Czech Republic. So hi, I'm Juris Tak. England. Hi, my name is Paul Davison. And of course, Wales. Let the fun begin. Right, competition is just about to start. Now the problem is I'm at a disadvantage. Those other two were fishing yesterday. So they know the flies and they know the tactics. So what's happened is Aaron is on my side and he filmed them to find out what they're gonna do. Now he can't tell me what flies and what tactics, but I can have a sneak peek at the footage to see. And he'll give me a starter for 10. Right, the match has started. I've only had one cast and this one, he's already had two. Come on, let's go and have a look at the fish and more importantly, the secret fly. Right, <laughs> that's the hole, right? I am six foot three. <laughs> now then, second fish yeah. on the same fly? Yeah. What's the fly? Come on, you were practicing yesterday. Is. That one. Both come to that one? Yeah. Right, okay, thank you. Before tying on the killer fly, let's have a chat with the chairman of the angling club. The grayling has been prominent on the D now for approximately, I would say, 30 years. It's come on leaps and bounds as a fishery. And people travel from all over the world uh, to fish our water here. So we, we are very, very, well, we're exceptionally fortunate. The grayling kicks in usually at mid-October and then it fishes well until the end of February. Our viewers, if they want to become members, how do they go about it? Very simple. Um, we've got a Facebook page, and also they can go on our website, callandindistrictanglingclub.co.uk. One of the most important things about fishing, whether you're fishing in the braid, the touchline as Paul's using, or the French that I'm using, is your point flight. Now that's the one that's gonna trundle along the bottom. And what we do is we tie them all on jig heads. So they actually the fly rides upside down. You see the nylon now is coming straight off the eye. And as it's trundling down, that's how it goes. Occasionally when you go hooked up, what will happen is that will pull tight. And then the fly will be like that. If you keep snagging up, then that's all you have to do is grab that fly, pull that line tight, and you'll see again, it rides with a hook upright. That way you'll be able to fish a lot more places and not get snagged. Then I've got a couple of flies, just smaller nymphs, on straight hooks, not jig hooks, up the cast. And then with the French leader, the important one, just higher up here, is the indicator. Now, I've got it on a long, long tapered leader. And then these balls there, those are your indicators. And what you do, you cast it upstream and you allow the current to bring your flies down towards you. What you've got to do is watch these indicators like a hawk. If it stops for a split second, tighten up, because it means the fish has just stopped that fly coming down with the flow. So cast it up, and the great thing with the French leader is you don't have to wade a lot because you can propel these flies a long way from one point. Winter fishing, it's all about location, 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 and fish can be found anywhere on the river. Initially, start close to the bank. Don't even wade into the river, and a great tip here if the river's been in flood, fish under your feet, because the fish could be tucked into the bank. But after a while, you're gonna have to move deeper out into the river to locate them. Now, if you're doing it on a new river, be very, very careful, a wading staff, is an idea or fish in a pair because you never know when you could slip in. <laughs> Yuri now has hooked into his first ever D grayling and that is duly brought to hand putting Czech Republic into the lead. Yeah. At this point Paul Beautiful. Davison decides to create a new rule which he calls the 20 yard rule which means once you've hooked a fish, you have to move 20 yards further down, and Yuri, well, he takes the bait. Only for Paul to jump in to his spot and hook the next grayling. Yeah, but that fish doesn't count. 
Because you forced Yuri to move out to that spot. Paul is a mixture of Dr. Evil and Q from James Bond. Let's have a look at his latest gadget. Now listen up, 007. From a company called Rexfly. Now, you had a good laugh at this. <laughs> I did. But when I first started using it, I thought, yeah, big gimmicky, what have you. But the more I use it, the more I like it. Um, doesn't catch any extra fish, but it makes life a damn sight easier. You know what it's like when we're checking anything, your arms up like that all yeah. day long. Right, what I can do with this, I can reduce it by the weight of the reel. Okay, so you've got a release button there. Yeah. Okay, that holds that on there. That holds me reel there. It's basically, it's Tenkora with a reel. Yeah, so you've got that line going yeah. through the rings, yeah. So, I can easily cast all day long. Yeah. If I get a fish on, you know what it's like, middle of the river, you need a new um, leader set up. Got both hands now. So you can tie your new leader, tie change your cast, leader. everything. Yeah. Everything's safe rather than put it under your arm or yeah. whatever. Yeah. I thought it was a fish. <laughs> like that it did, but oh, that was the one snag I was trying to avoid. Be prepared to lose quite a few flies. This only four pound breaking strain. Ah! Whoa! <laughs> one, two, Three. The gods of fishing are smiling at me. Well, there you go, three flies back. But look closely at the point fly, the one that was fast at the bottom, the hook snapped. Thank you, Mr. Davison, for giving me dodgy flies. I was going to say it's pretty dead down here, <laughs> but guess what? <laughs> oh, I've just changed to a heavier fly, first drift through, and yes, it's a grayling. And I'm going to put it in a net. No, I'm not. I'm not. Whoa, whoa, steady, mate. Steady, steady. That's it. Oh, I tell you what, that is by far the biggest grayling so far today. <laughs> well, there you go, folks. The last fish of the day. It was actually hooked before the hooter was sounded, which meant in world and European rules, he had 10 minutes playing time. So, scores on the doors, it means Czech Republic, first in the competition here in North Wales. Second, third, well, it's a toss up between England and Wales, but we won't say who came second, who came third. We've all had a great day.